holding parts of Georgia's new controversial election law. The ruling comes down on one of eight lawsuits targeting SB 202. CBS 46's Brittany Edney live outside the state capitol tonight with the impact on this ruling and how it has an impact on our elections moving forward. Brittany, good evening. Sean, good evening. Well, as you know, Georgia's new voting law continues to be a hot button topic nationwide, not only in politics, but also entertainment and business. It is important to note that today's lawsuit actually centered around a less critiqued part of the law and that the ruling only applies to elections happening next week. A federal judge rules he will not block part of Georgia election law, at least for now. The decision is ahead of next week's two state house district runoffs. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger says this is the first of many victories to come for SB 202. Judge wisely understood that you can't change horses in midstream. We're halfway through our election. You can't change the rules. And so we're going to go with the rules that are in SB 202. And I'm fully confident as these other lawsuits work their way through the system, we're going to have total victory on all those other issues also. This lawsuit centers primarily around monitoring or photographing parts of the election process and a tighter absentee ballot request deadline. It was filed by the Coalition for Good Governance. The nonprofit's executive director says the new restrictions means the public won't be properly informed of problems at the polls. They've been criminalized. If you go report problems that are happening in the mail ballot uh, room, um, and so it becomes really scary as we consider what that can do to election transparency, election oversight. Raffensperger defends the changes he says help uphold election integrity. So by setting that 11 day timeline on it, it gives the counties time to process it, the Postal Service time to mail it to you, you time to mail it back so it's in there no later than 7 p.m. on Tuesday election day. We're very, very troubled about what is in front of us for 2022, unless some of these unconstitutional bans are stricken from the law. The judge says that he reserves the right to block any of the challenged parts of the law for future elections. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Brittany Yadney, CBS 46 